Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity. So we're going to be continuing on today. Uh, and I did this, I did this, this. You probably saw this in the little um, preview thumbnail of the last video. Uh, but yeah, so we built the tower, we built up like a ton. There's still a little bit of work to do on it, windows and whatnot and stuff. But I built up a ton, an absolute ton. So we've got up here... <laughs> that is probably the closest I've ever come on that to... Oh my god, if he blew things up there, I would have cried. I... Wow. Thank God for elevators, eh? <laughs> right, so... <laughs> that's that. I need to obviously sort out some spawning issues there. I've been growing a couple of the witchery trees to grab ourselves some saplings. And I've been doing a little bit so over there. We're going to continue on and get some bits and pieces done there. But yeah, so we've got all of this. Really, really cool stuff. And we've got all this laid in. Uh, we've got all this room here. I'm not sure what to put on this floor now. We're going to get rid of all this. Um, if you have a look here, we've got a little entrance way up to here. Got quite a nice little view out of these windows, actually. Uh, but I'm going to put one type of magic here. So we'll probably put, like, say we put some blood magic -y stuff here. And uh, this one's got a double thing, so I'm thinking about putting Thorncraft here. Uh, next one up, maybe put Britannia here. Oh, uh, no, Witchery's here, obviously. Hmm. I will make one of these, one of the others. So we might do this one, Blood Magic, because Blood Magic doesn't have as much in it. And then we'll do Britannia, then we'll do Thorncraft, then we'll do Witchery. So I've got some Witchery bits and pieces up here. I've got a really pathetic altar, uh, just to power some bits and pieces. Uh, like distillery and that we'll get something a bit better set up there for that though get some greenery on the go just to get this one growing a bit nicer uh, but i found this really cool thing called a coffin you got a shift click to open it i can't sleep right now because it's not daytime but look you can only sleep at night really really cool stuff um so there's like vampire -y stuff and werewolfy stuff and it looks really really cool so what we're going to do is we're going to do some bits and pieces on this and then sort of sort everything out to its own uh, room but first thing i want to carry on with today is witchery so apparently you need 7000 altar power thank you to the guy who put a uh, comment in the last video can't remember his name i thought it was 5000 i read 5000 somebody told me in my in the comment section 7000 so thank you i can't remember the name exactly uh, but a big shout out to you. Uh, so we're going to have to try and up this a little bit more. we got 6,300. I put some trees around here. Uh, but we're going to grab some. Actually, saying that, I should have a bucket on me. Uh, let's go in there. Uh, we're just going to chuck a load of witchery things in here at the minute. Chuck all that stuff in there. And we want to grab out some belladonna, snowbell, and wolfsbane seeds. Because these are the easiest ones to do. Oh, I'll actually grab out some up. Let's grab some mandrake and some artichoke as well while we're at it. Cool. So we're going to chuck all that down there. we got ourselves a hoe on us. Uh, any more witchery stuff I can throw in there? Yeah, logs. <laughs> Get rid of logs, man. And then, yeah. And then what do we want to grab? We need to grab a bucket, which is going to be in the tool and bags of bags. Well, it should be in the tool and bag of bags. Yep, we've got some buckets in there. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So... Actually, do I have... I don't think I've got one. Um, but let's go like that. Two, three, four. Cool. And then we're just going to come in behind this thing. I want to go under it eventually. Uh, but for now, we're just going to come in behind it like so. So all the different kinds of plants and things. All different... Whoops. Hello. Where did you come from? Random hole in the floor. Oh, nice cave. <laughs> Right, cool. So we're going to go like this. Uh, we're going to put some water in here. Go like that. Get some water in there. Now we've got unlimited water. Cool. Wrap this around the sides a little bit, maybe. And then we'll do the same over here. Oh, no. we got a bit of a hole situation going on down there. You going to work for me? There you go. That's a grass block. Okay. Um, so let's chuck these back in here. We shouldn't need them again now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our water artichoke. Come here. Don't, don't you dare show me up. And then we're going to go like that. Get some of them on the go. And now now we've got a little bit of water source there. We've got some bits planted. What we're going to do with the hoe is going to go 
bam, and then we're gonna go bam, and then we're gonna plant some stuff around here. Uh, so we're gonna plant a couple bits and pieces uh, from Witchery itself. So we're gonna plant some Wolfsbane across there probably, and then we'll grab some Belladonnas, put some Belladonnas across the back there. Um, maybe get some Mandrakes in on the go. Yeah, I'll get some Mandrakes in on the go across here. And then we'll go like this as well. We'll get some more bits and pieces in. We'll make this uh, fully maxed out. So we go like that, make that that. Don't want you to be one. You go away. And then we're going to fill this one in. Where have we got? we got Wolfsbane across the front. We've got Mandrake up to there, maybe? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it like that. Uh, get a bit of that more on the go. A bit more there. And then, there and then that's where we're going to stop. And then that one's got Nitor on at the minute. So we'll just move that over. Where's my Nitor? Where is it? Place you there. There you go. All's hunky dory. Cool. So what we got here? We got some Belladonna. Let's carry some more Belladonna down around the corner. Um, what else? We got Mandrake. More Mandrake. We'll take some more Mandrake and stick it there. And then we got some Snowbell seeds and we'll just fill the rest in with the Snowbell. I can't remember the maximum you're allowed to have to max this thing out. But yes, we got up to 7,000 awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I think we can put some more bits and pieces here to add to it, but for now we're just going to leave it at that because that works out for us. So we need to let that recharge to 7,000, bam, and then we need to grab ourselves the mandrake root. So we're going to do this really, really quickly. We should be able to do it. We don't need a ton of dog actually. We need the mandrake root. Uh, we need to get a ghast here. We also need to make a diamond. Lots and lots of little bits and pieces. So we're going to try and do this super duper fast today. So diamond, ghast. I think I can remember how to do this off by heart. Now I should do the amount of times I've done it. <laughs> uh, we also need Salus Mundus. And we need another war. Uh, Salus Mundus. Mutandus. What am I on about? So we're going to go Mutandus. Wait, why are you not going? Oh, it's got to be in that order, has it? Okay. Do you actually take any altar power? No, you don't take any altar power to make, I don't think. Let's see. Spit it out. Oh, you did take a little bit of altar power. Not a huge deal, though, but it did take a little bit. Okay, so this looks like it re does require altar power. Doesn't show it in the NEI, which is why I was a... Oh, hello. Which is why I was a bit like, hmm, that's a bit weird. Uh, but okay, uh, we know we now know it takes a lot of power. That's cool. That is cool. At least we know where we're going with this. So, where we got to go? We need to grab some. Uh, I think it was foul fume, was it? To make oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol is used to make diamond vapor. Yep. See, I know my stuff, man. Let's just actually see. I've got oil of vitriol. What am I doing? Place you back. Uh, place you in with a diamond. Oh, can't shift click them in there, apparently. You're going to go? Yeah, you're going to go. Cool. We've got some more clay jars. We'll shove them in there because uh, we're probably going to need them. We need to get a load more clay jars on the go for sure. All right, organize this out a little bit better. Um, so what else do we need? What else do we need? We need... Um, Let's put Snowbell and Water Choke Seeds back in there. We've got our Mandrake Root. We've got our Salus Mutandus. Uh, what am I doing? Mutandus Extremis. We've got that. Right, so what else do we need? We need... Tear of the Goddess. And Refined Evil. Refined Evil is Diamond Vapor and that. And then Tear of the Goddess with Breath of the Goddess. Which I still have with some Lapis. Sweet. So we're going to go... Boop. Take you guys out and then diamond vapor in with a gas tier. And then I think that's pretty much it. And then we've got a drop of luck. Yes. That, 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 that. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Okay. So this should work now. We do have the altar power there. 7,128. Um, if this doesn't work, I'm going to cry. I would be very upset if it doesn't work because this is annoying me now. And I don't want to spend the whole time doing this. So I want to have. Give me a couple ideas what you think we should do. Because what I'm thinking on the bottoms here is doing a very shallow round off. Uh, so it'll probably come down one or two blocks and then just get rounded off like that. 
sort of like a little uh, dome bit there. And then on top here, I'm thinking about doing a little bit more of a peak on it. Because I think that'll look quite nice. Quite a bit of a peak on it, come up to about here. And then this up top floor, by the way, is going to be the bedroom. Because this has the most fantastic view ever. Don't you just agree? Look at, look at how amazing it is. It's so cool. I absolutely love the view from here. Nope, I don't like the view falling. But, <laughs> but yeah, so I want to try and move some bits and pieces about. Uh, what do I need in there now? Diamond vapor and a gas tip. Cool. And then in there we can put away foul fume and the whiff of magic. We need the tear of the goddess. Odor of purity and diamond vapor can go back in there. And what else do we need? We need the piece of nether wart there. And we've got the slime ball in there. Cool. So that is going to give us, we need magic root, nether wart, tear of the goddess, Mutandis and Refined Evil, which we are pulling through momentarily. And then this should work. This should work. And then we can make our redstone soup. And that's the only thing that I... I don't, even, I don't think that's even that much more important. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Like, we got times 5 with 7128. But I kind of want to fill it up anyway. So, we're going to do it. We will do it. Before. Just before. Just after I eat, sorry. So, nom, 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 nom. Come over here. Right, fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! It's doing things! Subscriber person who commented, I love you. Um, I thought it was 5,000, so I probably would have screwed this up again and then just been like, why are you no work? See, that took out so much power. Thank you to the guy who said it was 7,000. You are 100% right. Um, so now I need a kettle with redstone, tongue of dog. Need another mandrake root. So we got some bone meal here. Uh, let's bone meal that one and then break it. Ha ha. And then nothing can spawn back. Oh my god, I thought that was a normal creeper then. That one is. Be gone. Nice. Right. So let's grab. Let's grab, let's grab, let's grab. We got a kettle. Have we got some water on our kettle? Of course we have. Look at us all prepared. Uh, so we need redstone, belladonna, mandrake, woolabat. Uh, tongue of dog, woolabat, mandrake, uh, drop of luck. One, two, three, four. What else do we need? Belladonna and redstone. So one of that. Oh, and then we're going to go grab a piece of redstone. I actually need to make some redstone up. Let's have a look. Yeah, I got one piece in there, so let's make 4,000. Ta-da! Cool, and I'm going to steal, steal that last one piece. <laughs> right, okay, so we need to put in... I like doing it in the order it's in. That's just the way I do things. So, redstone, tongue, luck. Redstone, tongue, luck. And then, belladonna, woolabat, mandrake root. Belladonna... Are they hugging me? Ah, oh, zombie hug. Zombie hug. Oh. Where did my friend go? Oh, I'm all alone. Where did he go? Seriously, he's like hugging me and now he's just like disappeared. Right, okay, so kettle, redstone, tongue of dog, drop of luck, belladonna flower, wool of bat, and a mandrake root. And I freaking need a bottle uh, let's grab a couple of them because I think you can pull a couple of these out hopefully right so I can go oh no we only got one okay that's not too bad that's not too bad I'm happy with that so one redstone soup give us the chalice man oh my god creepers be creeping I don't know how I knew that as a creeper What the hell is going on? Okay, it appears I might actually have to re-log here. Because things don't seem to be able to attack me. Can you touch me? No. Oh, I'm invincible. Nice. Right, so let's put that in there, that in there. Chalice field. Let's see if this does any difference. 
Oh, fuck me. That made a huge difference. Right, that was definitely worth making. Right, okay. So we're not going to do any more witchery today. We're done. I'm going to quickly relog and find out what the hell is happening. Because this is crazy how it's not working. Uh, ooh, hello. Right, so I'm going to go fix things. I'll be right back. Hello, guys. We're back. So I relogged. Let's see if that fixes the problem. Like, can I kill you now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That's all fixed and hunky dory. Nice. Uh, so let's drop down here. We're going to put away. Let's. I never ever check behind me when I come down here. Something's going to be behind me one day and I'm going to regret it. Actually, saying that, a creeper did blow up on me the other day <laughs> while I popped down here. I only took out a bit of the floor and a little bit of the ME system. Not too tellable. Right, so I need to figure out. Because at the minute it looks like a lot of things are spawning where they shouldn't be. Like I can see zombies and creepers on the map and there shouldn't be ones there. And I'm kind of worried. It's got me very, very worried indeed. So let's have a little... I think there's a tunnel system in here somewhere. Yep. So I need to sort this out. This is a huge, huge problem. No creepers down there. No creepers up there. Looks like they're down over this way somewhere. I thought I lit this up, to be honest with you. Oh, hello. What? Like, where is this hole come from? Rapid shots for the win. Right, okay. Let's place down a torch in here. I need to get, I tell you what, let's do, hmm. No, I'm gonna move things. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the episode moving things around. Right, this one I can understand because I did leave this open like a dingbat. Um, oh yeah, but as you can see, I put a ton of things down here as well. Um, so what we've been doing is I made a ton of molecular assemblers and I've got this nice little pattern thing going around here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put an interface in the middle of these. So these are going to be the ones that are commonly made the most and that I need a lot of. So it can go super duper fast. Because if I've got one interface with a pattern set with four molecular assemblers around them, they're going to go super duper fast. Especially if I put speed upgrades in all of them. So if I'm like, I need a billion of this, it's just going to go and we'll have everything. So that's the plan for that. You guys still haven't told me what I should do with this because I have no idea. Loads of trees in there now. I don't know if I showed you that. I moved the tree farm. I moved uh, the tree farm over from where we had the node, and now it is in the void world, the void tacular age, and stuff and things are happening with it. So it's all pretty nifty, cool. Almost. Look how close we are. We're so close to octuple compressed. <clears throat> Gonna leave that running. So we've got this little, got this little bit here. Uh, I also walled up the bits for over here as well, so we can start getting the rooms laid out soon. And I need to move this at some point as well as this. So there's a lot of work to be done down here, and then I've got to move that as well, and then I've got to move that so we can dig out that way, and then I've got to move out that, so I'm going to go that way, and just so many things that I've got to do. I'm just trying to put them off for a little bit, though. So, oh. Wow. Is that an invisible spider? Wow, nice. <laughs> Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start moving some bits and things around. And I was having a look around and I found this thing called Decograft. And this is awesome. This got added a little while ago. A clip addict did mention it to me. But I never really had a look, look at it. So let's go all the way up to the top here. So this is going to be the wall where we have sort of our bed lying. So let's have a look at this. Look how cool this looks. We can go like that. Go like that. Look how cool that looks. It's like a really tiny bed, but you can actually sleep in it, which is the coolest part about it. Because now I've got a little four poster. Looks really, really nice. I would have loved it if it was a little bit bigger. But you know what? I'll live with that. I'll live with that. Look at us in our bed. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Nice. So I quite like that. I quite like Decacraft. I'm gonna have to look into it. There's a lot of stuff. Look, if you we let's go have a little gander at it. Little Look at DecoCraft, you can have stacks of iron ingots, uh, wine racks, just full, empty, uh, picnic basket. There's, so there's like little tiny bits that you normally wouldn't have in a world. This adds them and allows you to have that ironing board, like uh, sharpening stone as well. What else we got? We got door barricades, we can barricade a door up. 
Uh, so that looked quite nifty. Uh, like if we were to build like a zombie apocalypse sort of like little town or something, you could just put barriers everywhere like this. It looked like everything was boarded up. You could actually see the door behind it. Uh, you got cooked turkey, loads of Christmassy stuffs, crystal ball. What else have we got? Uh, we've got checkers. You can have a little checkerboard. The bridge one. The bridge one sounds the coolest. I'm yet to check that one out. A uh, little bird bath. Just nice little pieces that you'd never ever think about. Uh, you can have a double bed. What else have we got? You've got single beds as well. These are really nice looking bread beds as well. Stack of paper. So we're going to have to play around with this, I think. Tablecloth, laptop, wooden table. It's crazy how much is in here. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, but it's my, mainly for decoration. So let's start moving stuff and things. This floor we're currently on is going to remain for... Um, let's quickly go down here and just see if we've got some slabs. Yeah, that floor there is going to remain for... Um, sort of trophies and stuff like that. I think that would be quite nice to have that in there. Let's make pff, thousand. We've got a thousand available. This should go super duper fast. Go, go, go. There we go. That's cool. That's cool. Right. Uh, slab. Let's make some more of these just so we can move some bits and pieces around. Let's make like five. Uh, just so we can move bits and pieces around without having to break it and carry our entire inventory. So this is going to be Britannia. Nothing for that at the minute. Uh, wait, is that Britannia? No. Wait. Britannia? Thorncraft. Witchery. Bedroom. Oh no, this is going to be blood magic. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so this isn't going to be a trophy room. We're going to have to have that somewhere else. I guess the bedroom is kind of going to be the trophy room as well. So this is going to be blood magic. So you can stay there. You can stay there. Mm. Let's move Thorncraft stuff. Right, so we've got Thorncraft area up here. Uh, let's just place a ton of these things in. So let's place... Mm, where should we put the armor? Where should we put the armor? Should we place it like there and there? Or we'll place it there and there? Because we got a double wing on this. I wanted the double wing. Actually, which way is the confusion altar? That way. Yes, yeah, so we got a double wing in here. So I wanted to have taken full advantage of the double wing because of how much uh, Thorncraft stuff we actually have. I need, need to really go empty some inventory stuff at the minute. So go do do do. Uh, string, that, that. Crafting station, them, that, that, that. Why have I got so much stuff on me? I don't even know how I accumulate it. Arrows, don't even know why I have them. All right, so up, up, up. Oops, up one more. And then we're going to come in here. And we're just going to go do, do, do. And then we're going to come over here with the void stuff. Go like that. Pop on down. And then we're going to take crimson stuff and then we're going to take this stuff and then we're going to take this stuff we need to make a new set of that actually to stay in that and then we're going to go boop boop is it the fl this floor? yeah yeah so we're going to go do 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 and then come over here and we're going to do the same with this stuff there you go looking nifty and then we're just going to put the last of the thermoturge stuff here we need to make a new set and then we're going to get Icarum as well that one's quite expensive, but we will get there eventually. Uh, so we've got all of that in. Cool. What else have we got down here that belongs to thingy? Right, so we'll take the Scrivener's tools. Grab ourselves an axe. We go boop, boop. Uh, book can stay there for a minute. Uh, what else have we got? Anything else that's Thorncraft down here? Yeah, that one there. Take you. Thank you. Whoop, one too far. And then down here we'll have like the research table, like... Like that. I'm going to place that one there. Scrivener's tools, will you activate it? No, so we're going to have to get our other tools out. And tools. I do like the blood Scrivener's tools. It means I can just power it all off of my network, which is pretty nifty. And then we're going to go boop, boop. 
Nice, nice, nice. Cool. So we got that one up there. We got that in there as well. Uh, let's drop down a little bit more. So there's nothing else for um, thingy uh, in here. So let's take some witchery bits and pieces. Anything in there that I should take out? Yeah, just in case, just in case. We've got a fume funnel there as well. Let's put the cobblestone back in. Uh, witchery again, take you out just in case. Take you. And that is it for witchery at the minute. So let's jump up to here. And then we're gonna put, let's put the cauldron like I think in the window. Actually, I'm not even sure. Should we put it in the window or should we put it elsewhere? I might actually window this one up and then have it on the back wall there. But for now, we're just going to shove it here. Like so. Cool. Then we can put our coal back in there. And we put some clay jars back in there. And we've got the rest of the stuff on us, which I'm going to pop in here momentarily. Cool. And then we're going to take our poppet shelf and I'll put our poppet shelf like down here for the time being with a voodoo protection poppet. Cool. And then what else have we got? Huh? Huh? Uh, we've got a little bit of a tanya bit there. And then the rest is pretty much bedroom kind of stuff. Uh, draconic armor. I don't have a floor for that. So that's just going to have to come up to the bedroom. I got tons of clay jars. I thought I had less than that. Um, this keeps its inventory. So I could just. I don't actually put anything in that chest anymore either. So I don't actually need that. Oh. Take our furnace generator because we can. And put that back in there. Fantasy block, you can go there. We need to replace that one there. Put the fantasy block in there just to fill that hole in. Uh, you will keep your inventory no matter what as well. Get rid of that. I wonder if you had an ender pouch. You put the ender chest in your ender pouch and then put the ender pouch in your ender pouch. Could you ever get your stuff back? <laughs> Obviously you could just make a new chest, but like, it'd be really difficult. It'd just be a pain in the butt, would it not? <laughs> right, so <laughs> let's just put you down there for a second. Uh, we'll take the draconic chest. We'll place him down here. Uh, we don't really need the generator. But I guess we'll have it up here just in case. You know, just a spare little backup thing uh, to power this or whatnot. Uh, one thing's for sure, we definitely don't need that transfer node anymore. Don't need any of the power things. We got tons of speed upgrades there. Cool. And then now we need to get rid of all this stuff. So I don't really use these machines. I, well, that's a lie. I do use these machines. Not as much as I'd like though. Um, so we're going to pop you out. Actually, we'll leave you in there. Yes? I don't know. I think that should keep when I put it back. So pulverizer we're not using. Induction smelter we use the one downstairs. This here is the only thing that I really use uh, up here anymore. But we can take this out and relocate it. So we're going to go boop. I'm going to take out all of this stuff. All right, let's grab the fancy block and just replace it. these two real quick. So things are coming together. We're moving along, getting out and sort of sorting things out to their corresponding places. I think it's going quite well. I've still got a lot of work to put on this tower. Um, like, I, like I've said before, tech is all going to go in the basement. I did kind of start a bit of IC2 the other day as well, but I think I'm going to do that together with you guys at a later stage. Come here. I don't want to knock out any more walls. I'm really close to doing it as well, like sometimes. Thank you. And then that's all that done. Sweet. So now we can fill that in. This is going to be the Britannia floor. Let's take some armor stands with us. Just to replenish our stock real quick. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Give, give. And then that is going to stay here because this is going to be the blood magic floor. So let's go all the way at the top. I kind of want to sleep in the coffin, but I have a really bad feeling it's going to give us a really bad effect. Uh, so I kind of don't want to. <laughs> Pulverizer, uh, induction smelter, and alloy smelter can all sit in there, along with these enhanced energy conduits. Cool. 
I haven't seen any pranks today, by the way. I can, let's sleep in the coffin. Let's sleep in the coffin today and see what this is all about. Oh, I can't close it. I wonder if someone else can come along and close me in it. I'm not a vampire now, am I? No, I'm still all good. I'm still the same me. That's a, that's a really nifty little bit. Oh, I do like that. That is so cool. Uh, so we need to start sorting that out at some point as well and try and get that going. Right, so let's actually have a look. We need some armor stands on the witchery level, so we're going to have one there and one there. <laughs> Nothing too crazy for the minute. Actually, we'll go like that. Go crazy. Screw it. Go, go hard or go home. Right, so this is the floor of Batanias. So we'll take that. <laughs> That's pretty much it for Batania at the minute. That's all we have. Uh, let's place you like so. Place our little cape of sin on there. Um, and then we've got cake there. We've got a chest here with some bits and pieces, which we'll take up to the top floor. We might actually sort that out and go through it and see what we've got and what we don't want. Uh, we've got disenchanter there, which I'll put on the top floor as well. Or I might put that down below. We'll see. That's going to stay there because it's part of blood magic. So we'll get some more blood magic bits and pieces in here. Uh, trophy. Oh. Oh dear, super powerful pickaxe in play here. I want the head. There we go. I got the head. Cool. <laughs> and then we're going to have a look and see what trophies we have. Because I think I've got quite a few. Uh, not loads. We've got the Enderman one. we got the zombie one. Cool. We will get a, we will get loads more eventually. Right. Up, 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 up. Oh my god, there's so many flaws on this thing. I don't know if I'm going to go up anymore. There's one idea that I do actually have around this idea. We'll put Blaze there and we'll put them in there. Cool. So what I'm going to do out here as well is I want to put a big balcony. Obviously, it's not going to go around this far. Probably end up about here and then just wrap around this entire thing here because I think that's going to look really cool. And then we'll put a nice big roof on this one. and We'll go all out and make it look really extravagant. Uh, but I think it's coming together really nicely, don't you think? I think that looks really, really cool. I really like it. You can see the faded bricks as well, like, from quite far away. You can tell, like, where they're faded. That's going to look really nice around the windows. Um, I've got some staircasing to put in. We got ourselves our redstone oil, so now we've got a lot of power in that altar. Um, I tell you what, let's do... I don't know how much time we've got left today. I'm not going to do loads... But what we will do is not that or that. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. So we need to make chalk. How do we make chalk? Oh my god, we need Tear of the Goddess again. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, this thing, this thing, I don't even have Breath of the Goddess. How do you make that? Birch saplings, yeah, because I've got tons of birch saplings. Might have to do tree farms. I might have to put a tree farm for every single witchery tree. Um, let's go actually have a look in Voidtopia. Because I don't think I've, I haven't shown that to you this episode. There's nothing really changed over here. Apart from the tree farm. Which I'm not even entirely sure if I showed you or not. Uh, we got a normal tree farm. We moved the other one over here. And then we got this thing here as well obviously. And then we still got to do the other sort of wheat and carrot side and then get all our animals in there. And then everything's going to be hunky-dory. Everything's going to be cool. That doesn't even work. I think I turn that off if I'm 100% honest with myself. And we made another solar panel. And uh, Nicolas Cage is still staring at us. He's staring at our booty hole at the minute. Hey, Nick Cage. Hey. Um... But yeah, so we got two of these now, so we got tons of power coming in. I might see if we can restart the quarry. If it starts sinking power, then we'll turn it off. Actually, no, we got 9 billion storage. We'll let that sink power for a bit. Uh, so you're going to be going... Ignored. Holy shit! Oh my god, wait. Is it transmitting that much power because we can? Let's see if we can max this out real quick. Right, that's still pulling power in. So this isn't getting a negative. But if we go back to base of base. Base of the base. 
need to rename that the Archmage's Quarters, and I've got to delete a shit ton of channels off of it. Are we losing power? Yes. But not that fast. Actually, we are losing power pretty fast from that. So I might have to tone that down. I might actually... I saw, I think next episode we'll look at a different power generation. Uh, there is one or two that I want to try out. Uh, but there's a couple bits and pieces I want to get into before we try and get more power. Um, and it's mainly aesthetic stuff. It's mainly aesthetic. And I kind of got a path down. Ignore it because it's like the derpiest fucking thing you've ever seen in your life. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Good sir. Um, but yeah, so that is going to be it for today's episode. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spend the night working on this bad boy here. And we're going to get this all done up. It's going to look super, super cool. And I cannot wait for, to finish this off because this is going to look so awesome when it's done. And the view we have from here is just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. I love it so much. Uh, but thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please hit that thumbs up button if you have. Um, also make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And make sure you have yourselves a very fantastic day. And yeah, that's it. So have a good day guys. Thank you guys very much for watching again. And I'll see all your beautiful faces in the next uh, video. Goodbye. Hoop.